Hi, I'm Bella and I'm from We Made Wardrobe. So today I wanted to talk to you about the list of patterns that I have always wanted to knit but never came around to it. I think I know the reasons why, but I still love the designs and hope to, to knit them in the future. I started to knit one and a half years ago, but learned how to knit in middle school, my grandma taught me. But I discovered knitting through Lisa. First I did crochet, but never knitted uh, patterns before, just like scarf and stuff. So in this in this one and a half years, um, there have been a lot of patterns that have accumulated that I really really love, but never actually got around to knitting. Um, even though I haven't have had a lot of time to knit, and but I have always opted for another pattern instead. So yeah, let's get into it. The first pattern that I really want to make, but uh, I just haven't found the right wool yet is the Louvre sweater by Petit Knit. Um, I love the design, it's a classic, a, um, a staple piece that you can wear especially in winter and I have knitted with the original wool before with the Pear Gint. I've made the sweater number 18 out of it. Um, but I haven't found the perfect Pear Gint color for me for the Louvre sweater and um, since Sandness is always bringing out new colorways and especially now the tweed version of the Pear Gint, I'm still waiting for the perfect color. I'm not sure if I want it to be a darker, um, a, a darker color so I can wear it with everything like a dark gray or a dark brown or if I want a tweed wool in a more bright color. For example, they did a shocking pink with uh, little specks in it or even a light gray but with blue um, specks in it. I love them both but I'm more of a warm color person so the blue isn't quite what suits me very well. So yeah, that's, um, that's my problem with that sweater. I really want to make it. I think it's going to be such an easy, mindless, in front of the TV knit um, because I think it's mostly uh, knit stitches. So yeah, that's one that I definitely want to make but I'm still waiting for the perfect color. Next is the cardigan number seven that has been on my to knit list forever. Like. Um, I think over a year and I actually already have the wool it's this one right here I've also already made a swatch this is the this is the swatch and as you can see I didn't it was a it's a very very beautiful kid silk and merino and they make the softest fabric um, but it's not quite um, the right thickness, that's why it's a little bit see-through and I think that's what's strayed me from it. I always, when I think about it, it's always too, too light of a cardigan for me, so I never had the motivation to actually start it and um, yeah, I'm not sure when I'm going to start it because the wool is very very soft and I really like it. it. It was on sale. It, it is from a brand called Freya Yarn that is sold um, on Self Made, which was previously Stoff und Stil before. Um, and I think they discontinued it. So I only have what I have. And I can't. For example, I thought about um, holding the merino double, um, so it would be thicker, a thicker fabric. <sighs> yeah, but I think uh, it's going to work like this. I just haven't found the motivation yet, if, uh, because Lisa did the prettiest cardigan number no. seven with Kos, with, with uh, Kos by Sandness, and I 
think that's the right thickness for this cardigan. Um, I can show you here. Uh, I'm a little disheartened and I hope um, my white one will turn out nice, but I, I think it's going to be so thin that it's going to look completely different. So yeah, that's why I haven't started it yet, but I'm hoping I get to run it this spring. I'm going, I hope I can start it um, soon. Next on my list is the, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but uh, it's by Sandness. They brought it out last year, I think. It's the Ginze Genza, the, um, I can show you a picture here. It's um, a very patterned uh, design, kind of reminds me of the Ingrid sweater by Petit Knit. Um, but I opted for the Sandness one to get the patterns more. Um, yeah, this sweater is just a little intimidating. I, there's a lot of techniques I haven't tried before. Um, I do love the design. I haven't... I know I have to concentrate, like especially at the beginning. I know there's charts that you have to follow, so I'm, yeah, I, I'm pretty intimidated. I hope um, someday we'll get to run, uh, around to it. I already bought some wool, not the original wool that they used, but the Sandness Alpaca one. It's this one right here, um, Alpaca Wool. I think you only have to use a bigger needle size and then it will get thickness. Um, and I do love the color. I think it's going to be a very nice basic color, but interesting pattern. And that's my most worn pieces are the ones, um, for example, my sweater number 18, that is um, that I made of a white um, packing. And yeah, so I will definitely have to get around to doing this one. I'm just a little bit scared of the patterns. Next is the Scylla Slipover, which I think this pattern is going to be very nice. It's, I don't think it's too complicated, you just have to pay a little bit of attention. And also a slipover always goes very fast. But with the Scylla Slipover I bought wool before I really got into knitting. It was one of the first patterns I really wanted to make. And um, I bought some wool. I bought this wool here by Laine du Nord mm. in this dark brown color. And the color I think is fine, but I'm not too sure about the wool. It's, it's soft enough, but it's not very exciting to me. It's very basic. It's also with acrylic in it. It has 70% wool and 30% acrylic. So I think the acrylic part is, is what throws me off because we mostly knit with, um, with just natural fibers. Uh, so I'm not sure if I'm going to use that wool up, um, if someday the motivation hits again or if it doesn't. I hope it does because I still think that the color is perfect and the, the silicon slip over would be very, very nice. But yeah, not sure. The last one on my list is the camisole number no. five. Um, and this has a very specific reason why I haven't started it yet. I do have this, this rule of only starting a new knit when I have finished a knit so that I don't have a hundred different whips at the same time. Um, and last year in summer I started the Friday tea, this one, and as you can see it's not <laughs> it's not nearly finished, it takes such a long time and I kind of regret my color choice. I think a more neutral color palette would have been better for such a time consuming piece and I know I will wear it once it's done, but it has such small needles. I think it's a 2.5 millimeter needle or 3 millimeter needle and it takes a long time and I haven't finished it yet. 
So I can't start chemical number five until I have finished this one. So even though I really want to make chemical number five, I'm not sure I'm going to get around to it soon because I first have to finish my Friday tea. And yes, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my, my list of things that I want to knit but haven't come around to it and the reasons why I haven't knitted them yet. If you have any suggestions for yarn alternatives where I didn't like the yarn or um, if you know how I can get motivation or confidence to start some of the more um, some of the more difficult knits, please let me know. Um, if you want, you can follow us on Instagram at we make wardrobe and on TikTok where we also at we make wardrobe. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.